Man, y'all are fantastic. Thank y'all so much. Back in uh, 10 years ago, this coming summer, uh, my family and I, we moved cross country to uh, Oregon. We moved to beautiful Portland, Oregon. Beautiful, beautiful city. And, um, and uh, don't believe the hype about it if you've heard the bad stuff. Yeah, a lot of bad stuff happened, but uh, you know, we, we're, we're building back. But um, that's kind of kind of relates to what we're talking about here, because uh, you know, we were doing all these songs about people like George Wallace that were written at a time when we thought they were dying out, and here we are. And uh, I gotta tell you, I lived in the South for 51 years, and um, I was uh, lived in Alabama for for uh, almost 30, and then 21 in Athens, Georgia, and um, I never saw a Klan rally. But, uh, but in beautiful, super liberal Portland, Oregon, during the summer of 2020, during the lockdown, my, my oldest kid and I were coming back from getting takeout Indian food, and uh, you know, we we're wearing masks and shit, and uh, we ended up, getting caught in the middle of a Proud Boy rally in downtown Portland. And uh, it was like, I counted over 50 trucks with like redneck motherfuckers in the back shooting paint guns at, at, at Black Lives Matter protesters and just wreaking havoc on our town. And then the next day I'm reading about it in the so-called liberal press and the New York Times and they're talking about how Black Lives Matter and Antifa is burning down Portland, Oregon. And I'm like, fuck you motherfuckers. Those motherfuckers are getting away with it. They are attacking our beautiful city and they're getting away with it. And that could be a preview of what's to come if we let those motherfuckers back with the reins of power. And so it's up to us to stop these motherfuckers once and for all. Preach, Patterson. And I wrote this song a couple of days after I witnessed all of that, and uh, it's called The New Okay, and it ain't okay. Yeah. 